All right, hey guys, so we've got a concrete mixer truck on its side. Um, got the pickup and uh, the recovery trailer on, and I'm following the rotator right now. And uh, we'll be there in just a little bit. I got the uh, recovery trailer because it has our uh, tanker straps and floor dry and all kinds of extra stuff on there. So um, it's not too far from the shop, so we'll be there here in just a little bit. Really kind of a surprising place to roll over. Right here in uh, Albertson's parking lot. One of you guys the driver? No, it's over there. Oh, see, so doing okay? Yeah, he's oh, good, good. He's That's scary. Yeah. He's doing just backing up to get up here. No, he's, no, he's coming, around. coming around the corner a little too fast. Oh, uh, man, look what they did to the sidewalk there. That's crazy. That's why I thought maybe it was up here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you guys got that covered. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, glad he was okay. I'll start getting some stuff out of the trailer that we'll need. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gone. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna get some stuff. Okay. Oh really? It's sixty thousand. Yeah. Wow. But okay. We're rolling it towards the rotator. That's right. Why I want fifteen here to help it so we don't get. Cool. In. Okay. Sixty thousand full of concrete. Holy cow. Mike uh, chaining the drum right now. in here until we're ready for it you got a you got a bush in your way there mike uh, bushes. <laughs> a bunch of shrubbery huh where do you want it mike well he has to be oh. here and then i can pull through the shrubbery he's trying to get it through the bush i know that's the hard part he landed around on these bushes we got a shovel in the trailer we might yeah i could dig the bush the out <laughs> getting it There you go. The spiders and them bushes are going, what the crap? <laughs> what happened? Loop it here, Mike, yeah. and then use the chain binder. Where's your dad at? Uh, he's heading to Idaho City. Oh. He had to go look at a truck we're supposed to go get in Idaho City area. He's missing all the good he's stuff. He's out on Grimes Creek, I know. Is that the one that... Huh? The guy that was in yesterday, it's his hmm. truck. Um, I'm gonna get the headsets ready here in a little bit too. Okay. Um, trying to think what else we'll need. We need the uh, Terry chains. Okay, both of them. Because they're gonna have to go from the axle right to the, well, or to the frame, frame to around the, to the tanker. To the center. Okay. Cool. And uh, if I remember well, correctly, on this big one, chain. it takes a 12 and a six on each one to do it. Okay. And then then we'll rig a 
we use the 20 foot half inch chains that we right. have for here to rig to help control with the bags. Sweet. Okay. And, and then 15 will do the front. Obviously. Okay, I'll start getting that stuff out of the trailer. We're using all four of our Terry chains two six footers and two 12 footers. because we got to they, well they got to come together to start they both got to hook into that snatch block I know. all right I'm gonna get the uh, landing bags out and just to answer you guys question that I know is already coming why use landing bags when you have a rotator well yes we can control it with just the rotator but why not if you have them which we do use landing bags and use the rotator for control so that's my answer to those people and some people may not like that but if you have the equipment why not use it it just makes it safer Since this thing weighs 60,000 pounds why would you not help it land on its feet nice and soft when you're weighing that kind of weight 